welcome to Violetta Bulls, and I welcome her also for her readiness to tell us about the Commission's analysis of the situation and possible future actions in order to solve it. Schengen is one of the key benefits of Europe, especially for transport. Uh, because of the Schengen borderless area, transport is able to deliver European values and European benefits. It will cost uh, roughly uh, 3.4 billion euros a year to the transport sector. Only to the transport sector, but of course the whole European economy is affected by the refugee crisis. Especially the rail sector, the road transport sector and also the maritime sector. Yeah, of course uh, we have seen in Calais huge problems, uh, especially with disruptions of services uh, last year. But that the problem will pop up elsewhere in Europe. So now we are facing the same, more or less the same problems elsewhere in Europe, for instance in uh, Dunkerque, but also in Belgium and even in the Netherlands. A fact that 20% of the people rescued were actually uh, rescued or are being rescued by uh, commercial uh, ship owners. And this is not their core task and it's not uh, uh, what they have been actually been educated for and it is a very risky and uh, very difficult uh, task on different levels and uh, especially on a human level. We need a, a real holistic approach which is we need a common European asylum and migration policy because we see what is happening if we don't have it the fall uh, apart of the Schengen area. Uh, so we need a migration system and an asylum system that people can legally enter the European Union. Otherwise, the whole thing is falling apart. The transport sector is just one issue in the whole big range of uh, domino effect that you could see if we don't solve it. If internal EU borders reappear, 5 to 18 billion euros per year of direct costs. Road freight, tourism, cross-border passengers mobility, agriculture, chemicals, raw materials, and all boils down to, of course, logistics. Not talking about all the administration costs that is reappearing on the level of member states. We need to have a European approach, another nationalist approach. Uh, this means that we have to uh, invest in reception facilities, hotspots in Turkey for instance, that we need to make the selection over there, that we have to uh, uh, install as soon as possible a European border and coast guard, also to protect the external borders, improving the blue card system, also to give perspective to economic migrants, migrants that are now mixing with refugees, uh, and to give them a perspective to have a legal way to enter Europe. 